Hi students, welcome back to the section Maxima and Minima from the chapter Applications of Derivatives. Next we are doing, going to do the question number 23 from the exercise 6.5. It is saying that prove that the volume of the largest cone that can be inscribed in a sphere of radius capital R is 8 by 27 of the volume of the sphere. We have to prove that the volume of the largest cone, that is when the cone is attaining its maximum volume, then that volume will be 8 by 27 of the volume of the sphere, where this cone is inscribed in that sphere. Okay, let us see how can we do this problem. Okay. Our cone is inscribed on the sphere. Let us take that. Let H be the height and R the radius of the base of the cone which is inscribed in a sphere of radius capital R. And we have to discuss the situation where our cone is attaining its maximum volume. Therefore, it is the expression of volume of the cone is to be differentiated. Okay. Volume of volume of the cone V is equal to 1 by 3 pi R square H and we know that volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 pi R cube where R is capital R. Okay, volume of the cone is V is equal to 1 by 3 pi R square H and this expression is to be differentiated. But look here two variables are there R and H. Then we have to replace either R or H using the idea that our cone is inscribed on the sphere. And from the figure, we can see that look, this portion here we are if we are marking here, this is A, B, C. Then we are getting a right angle triangle ABC and the distance AB is this distance is H and we know that this and from here we are getting from here the capital R is the radius of the sphere therefore this much height is H minus capital R. Then the triangle Here we have a right angle triangle having sides H minus R, small r and capital R. And from the figure it is clear that H minus R the whole square plus small r square is equal to capital R square. Then by expanding H square minus 2HR plus R square plus small r square is equal to R square. Then from this we are getting R square as 2HR minus H square. We are going to give the value of this R square in the expression of volume of the cone. Therefore this will become 1 by 3 pi into 2HR minus H square into H. That is B is equal to 2 by 3 pi H square R minus 1 by 3 pi H cube. Now we expressed volume in terms of H only and capital R is the radius of the sphere therefore that is a constant. Then differentiate V the, that volume with respect to H we get 4 by 3 pi hr minus 3 pi h square then 3 by 3 it will become pi h square. Now we know that it is a critical point giving us maximum or minimum. Let us find the critical point. Then dv by dh is equal to 0 implies 4 by 3 pi h r is equal to pi h square. All these are positive quantities and so we can cancel h and h 
pi and pi and we are getting h is equal to 4 by 3 r. We got the critical point as h is equal to 4 by 3 r. Now we want to know whether it is a point of maxima or minimum for that second order derivative. d square v by dh square equal to differentiate this then you are getting 4 by 3 pi r minus 2 pi h. Then give the value d square in d square v by dx square substitute h is equal to 4 by 3 r. Then you are getting 4 by 3 pi r minus when h is equal to 4 by 3 r here 8 by 3 pi r and we can see that it is less than 0. It is negative. Then we can say that volume of the corn is maximum when h is equal to 4 by 3 r because this is a point of maximum. Now we know this and but one more thing is there in the question we have to show that it is look that maximum volume is 8 by 27 of the volume of the sphere. Okay, let us see how can we show that. And we got that volume as volume of the corn is maximum when h is equal to 4 by 3 r. Ah, we got that idea. The maximum volume of the corn. V max we can view like that and we have to substitute in that expression of volume h as 4 by 3r because when h is equal to 4 by 3r our cone is attaining maximum volume. Then look here we have seen the expression for volume in terms of h only is 2 by 3 pi h square r minus 1 by 3 pi h cube. Substitute the value h as 4 by 3 r in this expression. For getting v maximum, maximum volume of the cone which is inscribed in a sphere, we have this expression. Substitute the value of h in this expression. You can substitute the value in 1 by 3 pi r square h also. If you are using that, you have to find out the expression for small r square. Otherwise, give the value in this form. Then that is equal to 2 by 3 pi. h square is 4 by 3 r. The whole square into r minus 1 by 3 pi, 4 by 3 r, the whole cube. That is equal to then 16, 32 by 27 pi r cube minus this is 64 by 27 to 3, 81 pi r cube. By taking LCM, you are getting uh, 81 and here 96 minus 64, that is 32 by 81 pi r cube. That we can write as 8 by 27 into 4 by 3 pi r cube. That is equal to 8 by 27. We know that 4 by 3 pi r cube is the volume of the sphere. This is the, then we show that, that maximum volume is 8 by 27 of volume of the sphere. Next question is question number 25. Show that the semi vertical angle of the cone of the maximum volume and of given slant height is tan inverse root. When the cone is attained maximum volume and when the slant height is a constant, that is not any change for the slant height, then we have to show that the semi vertical angle of the cone is tan inverse root. 
we have to concentrate on the word maximum volume. Therefore, it is the expression of the volume to be differentiated. Let H be the height, R the radius of the base, and L the slant height of the cone. Let alpha be the semi-vertical angle of the cone. We have to differentiate the expression for volume of the cone. Volume of the cone. V is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h. Then, two variables are there, r and h. We have to replace any one of them by, that is, the other. By replace one of them using the other. And here in the question, it is given that slant height is a constant. Therefore, we can replace r square using l square minus h square. Because from this, From figure, it is clear that L square equal to R square plus X square. Therefore, R square is equal to L square minus X square. We are going to give that. We are going to substitute, replace R square using this. Equal to 1 by 3 pi L square minus X square into H. Then this will is equal to one by three pi L square H minus one by three pi H cube. And now we express to be in terms of in terms of H only. Then dv by dh dv by dh is equal to 1 by 3 pi l square minus pi h square. And for getting critical point, we are equating that to 0. dv by dh is equal to 0 implies 1 by 3 pi l square equal to pi h square. We can cancel pi and pi, then we are getting like this. H is equal to 1 by root 3 L. H is equal to L by root 3. Next, we want to check whether it's a point of maximum or not. For that, second order derivative test. For that, we are writing its second derivative. D square B by dx square equal to this is a constant 0 minus 2 pi h you are getting. Therefore, from this uh, expression contains negative and we know that h is a positive quantity. Therefore, we can write d square v by dx square when h is equal to L by root 3 is less than 0. Therefore, it is a point of maximum. That is, h is equal to L by root 3 is a point of maxima. That is, V is maximum when h is equal to L by root 3. That is, V is maximum when h is equal to L by root 3. That is, V is maximum when R is equal to, or R square is equal to, L square minus H square, that is equal to, L square minus L by square by 3, that is 2L square by 3, that is, V is maximum when R is equal to root 2 L by 3, root 3, root 2 L by root 3. Then we got the value for R and H at the situation when volume is maximum. 
And from the figure, we go with the idea that tan alpha is R by H. Therefore, we by giving the value for R and H at this maximum situation, we have to show that the semi-vertical angle is tan inverse root 2. Let us see how can we do this. And here, we prove that when V is maximum, when R is equal to root 2 L by root 3. That is, V is maximum when R by H is equal to root 2 L by root 3 by the value for H is divided by L by root 3. Then by cancelling we are getting R by H as that is V is maximum when R by H is equal to root 2. And from the figure it is clear that R by H is tan alpha that is volume of the cone is maximum when tan alpha is equal to r by h is tan alpha when tan alpha is equal to root 2 that is when alpha is equal to tan inverse root 2 that we prove this problem our next question is question number 24. Show that the right circular cone of least curved surface and given volume has an altitude equal to root 2 times the radius of the base. Then here we have to concentrate on curved surface area. It is the expression for curved surface area of the cone to be differentiated. And it is given, it is in the question, we have the word given volume. That means volume of the cone is a constant. And when the curved surface area is attaining its minimum value, we have to show that altitude is equal to, height is equal to root 2 times the radius of the base. Let H be the height, L the slant height and R the radius of the base of the cone. Then we have to concentrate on curved surface area. Then curved surface area of the cone. That is CSA. Curved surface area of the cone. C is equal to pi R L. Then we have to get the relation between height and the radius. But here the over curved surface area contains R and L. Then we have to replace, that is we have to write either R in terms of L or L in terms of R. We, and therefore here I am going to replace L. But I once I told you, for avoiding the presence of square root, we are squaring this expression. Therefore, we are considering c square. c square is equal to pi square, r square, l square. Then, using our result, we can write l square as r square plus h square. But still there is problem because two variables are again in the expression. Therefore, Replacing that, we can use the idea given in the question. It is given that volume is a constant. And volume of the cone equal to let it be V is a constant. We can use that. Let us give the C square as equation 1. Then volume of the cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h is equal to v. Then from this I can write what is r square. r square is 3v by pi h. Now I am going to substitute this in equation number 1. Therefore from 1 we have c square is equal to pi square 
and R square is 3V by pi h into 3V by pi h plus h square. Now let us open the bracket. Here we can cancel pi and pi. Then you are getting 9V square by h square plus 3V by h. Next we need to find the critical point for that dc square by dh which is the variable here v is the constant and 1 by x square we know that its derivative is minus 2 by h cube therefore we are getting minus 18 v square by h cube plus 3 v pi now for getting the critical point put this is equal to 0 dc squared by dh is equal to 0 implies 3v pi is equal to 18v squared by h cube. We can cancel 1v and 3 and 18 6. Then we get, are getting like this pi h cube is equal to 6v. And replace v by its formula. Then pi h cube is equal to 6 into 1 by 3 pi r square h. All these are positive quantities. Therefore, we can cancel 1 h and here square and you are getting like this. h square is equal to 2 r square. That implies h is equal to root 2 r. We got h is equal to root 2 r as the critical point. Next, we want to know whether it is a point of maxima or minimum. We have this dc square by dh as minus 18v square by h cube plus 3v pi. Let us differentiate this again. d square c square by dx square equal to then 1 by h cube, its derivative is minus 3 by h raised to 4, minus 3 into minus 18, that is 54v square by h raised to 4. We got the second derivative was 54v square by h raised to 4. Then, whatever, it is a positive quantity, we know that, therefore whatever the value of h is equal to root 2 r, that is, it is, this is always positive, we can write it is greater than 0. That is, that is, h is equal to root 2 r is a point of minimum. When our second derivative is greater than 0, we are getting a point of minimum. We got c square is minimum when h is equal to root 2 r. Therefore, c is minimum when h is equal to root 2 r. That is, c is a of the con, right circular con, is minimum. when h is equal to root 2 r. Okay. That is here. I think all the concepts are clear to you. Okay. We will see in the next class. Thank you.